morning, afternoon or evening everyone. Welcome to COM42 Site Reliability Engineering 2023. Before we jump into what's in store today, we'd like to invite you to our Discord server. It's a perfect spot to have a chat with other attendees and speakers. This event was brought to you by Teleport, the gold sponsor. SRE Day, the silver sponsor. Steadybit, the startup sponsor. Unpack.tech, the newsletter partner. And our media partners. COM42 SRE 2023 kicks off with an amazing keynote by Travis Rogers, developer relations engineer at Teleport, replacing privileged users with automated just-in-time access requests. Hey everyone, my talk here is going to be about replacing privileged users with automated just-in-time access requests. So we're going to start out with the end state in mind. So what is an ideal end state for replacing privileged users with automated just-in-time access requests look like? We're going to look at those four points in detail, and then at the end, I'm going to give you a practical demonstration of what this looks like. See you in the talk. GPT, revolutionizing monitoring and logging systems, will be introduced by Clay Langston, security engineer at Oak9. Hi. I hope you join me for my talk, GPT, Revolutionizing Monitoring and Logging. It will go over the basics of working with large language models like OpenAI's GPT and how they can enhance the value you get from your logs. Thank you. Craig Rishi, QA architect and senior manager at REPL Group, part of Accenture, will now show you how to build automated quality gates into your CI pipelines. Hi, my name is Craig Rishi. And if you're really passionate about building CI CD pipelines within your software delivery uh, process, but aren't quite sure how to introduce uh, testing and test automation into the process so it doesn't slow you down, I uh, hope you can attend my talk on how to build uh, you know, quality gates into your CI CD pipelines uh, to really help solve that problem of how we can utilize our CI CD pipelines to actually improve our software delivery process, improve our quality process, and reduce the time it takes to be able to deliver and build high quality software. Uh, look forward to seeing you there. Thank you. Observability, one of the strongest muscles for SRE, will be presented by Jonathan Hill Chavez, DevOps engineer at Globant. At this space, we're talking about for observability and how do we use observability around for our teams, for the companies, and how to speed all features are related for reliability and speed more our companies. So please enjoy for this lightweight or could be long talk. Enjoy. See you. Chaos Engineering for SRE Enablement is the next exciting topic brought to you by Chandra Dixit, SRE Architect at HLC Cloud Native Labs. In this session, I'll be taking you through the, our journey of chaos engineering through which we have enabled SRE upskilling uh, and SRE practice enablement into uh, various delivery teams and clients here at HCL Tech. Pratamesh Sonpatki, developer evangelist at Last9, will now address policies and contracts in distributed systems. Hello, my name is Pratamesh and I am excited to discuss policies and contracts in distributed systems at the CON42 Site Reliability Engineering Conference. Every function in an organization, including engineering, product, customer success, and leadership, wants to succeed and provide the best customer experience but their immediate goals can be counterproductive to this eventual goal. As in every distributed system, eventual consistency is the ultimate goal for all organizations. Service level objectives are one way to unite everyone under one roof and provide organizational-wide policies catering to the pursuit of consistent user experience. I am excited to discuss this and share my thoughts with all of you. Thank you. CICD, the SRE DevOps overlay, is the next exciting session by Safir CM and Garima Baipe. Hello everyone, and I'm Garima Bajpe. I'm here to talk about continuous integration and delivery, the SRE DevOps overlay. Juri Nino, Cloud Infrastructure Engineer at Google, is here to show you how to avoid the death of SRE documents that matter. 
Nice to meet you. I am Yuri Niño. I am Colombian. I work as cloud infrastructure engineer at Google Cloud. Regarding this talk, I have to say that this material is the result of a lot of reading and self-learning, trying to build a framework for documenting my exercises uh, in chaos engineering. The Disability Inclusion Revolution. It's a smart business conversation. Will be presented by Cam Budwin, the owner of Accelerated Accessibility. Today, we're going to be talking about how to build a sustainable accessibility program without wasting a ton of time and money. And really, that this is a smart business conversation. Florian Hopner, Marco Torre, and Alexander Shaper from Accenture are here to underline the importance of open communications in SRE. We will cover today psychology safety in the context of SRE. We have some case studies ready for you. Um, we plan to talk around 25 minutes, something like this. And we will also show a little bit of tool we used in our case study. Build the Chaotic Cat with SRE is the next lecture by Mandeep Ubi, the founder and CTO of DevSRE.org. Hi, uh, please join me uh, for my talk on Bell the Chaotic Cat with SRE, uh, where I will talk about uh, unintentional chaos in the product development lifecycle. Um, I will highlight key themes and suggest how SRE practices can be shifted left to the development lifecycle. Um, my idea for this talk is to highlight that SRE doesn't have to be an afterthought. It doesn't have to be an, only an operations thing. So I'm uh, really looking forward uh, to this talk and hope uh, you all find it useful. Thank you. Ricardo Castro, the founder and CEO of FunDuel and Blip PT, joins in to talk about overcoming SRE anti-pattern roadblocks by rebranding the operations team. Good morning and welcome to Conf42 Site Reliability Engineering 2023. My name is Ricardo Castro and today we're going to talk about SRE anti-patterns and one in specific, which is, which is one that I call rebranding the operations team. So what do we have on the menu? So we're going to be briefly touch on what SRE is, what it came to be and what, it's, what it looks like today. We're going to briefly describe what are anti-patterns and why the why of the SRE anti-patterns. And then we're going to touch on the SRE anti-pattern that we're going to discuss today, which is the rebranding the operations team. We're going to talk about the anti-pattern itself and how to fix or avoid it. Divided by responsibilities, united by DevOps and SRE cultures, is the next exciting session by Sura Bangut, Technical Account Manager at Google. Hello, hello, hello. Please join me for my lightning talk on uh, SRE and DevOps culture. The title is Divided by Responsibilities, United by the DevOps and SRE Cultures, where I'll be focusing on uh, modern age problems faced by uh, large enterprises such as banks, where they have complex organization structure and conflicting goals between teams, and uh, that, that creates the new universe we are living in. Uh, so I'll be focusing on those problems and solutions. Stay tuned. Emily Arnott. Community Manager at Blameless is here to introduce you to the new reliability. Hello, I'll be presenting a talk on a new definition of reliability, a holistic one that incorporates your system's health, your customer's expectations, and, and this is the secret sauce that I feel is all too underappreciated in tech, your team's socio-technical reliability. I'll be breaking it down in depth what this means, in my presentation, so I hope you check it out. How to achieve the scalability, high availability, and elastic ability of your database infrastructure on Kubernetes is the next amazing topic presented by Trista Pan, co-founder and CTO of Spherex. Hello guys, this is Trista. So at this SRE conference, I will share something around the DBRE databases reliability engineering, especially about how to achieve elasticity, scalability, and reliability of your monolithic databases on the Kubernetes. If you're interested in such topics, let's uh, meet there. See you. Why SRE is the best way to improve efficiency in crisis time like this? Introducing Fabio Alves, MBA professor at FIAP. Hi everyone, this is Fabio. I will be presenting to you why 
SRE is the best way to improve efficiency in crisis time like this that we are living. I have been working with technology since 1993 and I will share with you a lot of my knowledge regarding this. I have worked with a lot of initiatives focusing on efficiency in financial services, consulting firms and healthcare. So I really believe that adopting SRE could help you going through this moment, right? Don't miss this lecture. It will be really nice to have you with me. Thank you and see you there. Bye bye. Gonzalo Maldonado, staff engineer at Fire Hydrant, will now show you how to bridge the gap, leveraging incidents to align platform and product engineering. Hi, please join me in my talk, Bridging the Gap, leveraging incidents to align product and platform engineering. In this talk, I'll be presenting some ideas about how to get the most out of your incident data and how to leverage this data to improve not only your infrastructure, but also your incident response all across your organization. I'm really looking forward to this talk and I hope you all enjoy the conference. Product management in SRE is the next talk by Jayaganesh Kalyanasundaram, technical lead at Google. My talk is going to be about product management in SRE. In this talk, I'll be going over the essential principles in SRE and how product management is a fundamental aspect in each of them, which is implicitly done in most cases and how our team benefited practically by having a separate product management who, were, who was able to explicitly do each of them. Hope you enjoy this talk. Thank you. Ramon Medrano Yamas, senior staff SRE at Google, joins in to address measuring reliability in production. I'm thrilled to be talking at COV42 this year. I'm going to be talking about measuring reliability in production, which means that we are going to be having a like a small distributed system that is a shop. And we're going to be talking about like how we define SLOs in there, like how, what is an SLI, what is an SLA, how we like lay down the, the, the metrics that we want to collect. And um, all looking forward to see you in the talk. In the last but not least session today, let's welcome warmly Muhammad Jihad the CEO of Socket Space. He will get you started in the SLO's implementation. I would like to share to you on how you and your team can start implementing the SLO's and why it is better for you and your company. We will start from the definitions of SLO and then going through on how to build the SLO and try to calculate and then identifying the bridge SLO conditions using case study example. It is very interesting and stay tuned. This is all we've prepped for you today at COM42 Site Reliability Engineering 2023. We hope that you'll enjoy the time at the event while learning new things and imitating some great people in the Discord server. As always, FreeRSVP unlocks all the content and the keynote by Travis will kick off right after this video ends. Please make sure to look up the schedule on the event website. Your feedback is key to make COM42 a better platform for everyone. Please feel free to leave a comment, a like or a dislike to let us know to do better next time. Big thanks to all speakers, partners and sponsors for making this possible and to you for being with us and attending. That was Mark, thank you so much. I hope you'll enjoy COM42 SRE 2023. Cheers!